Alright, what is up? We... What did I do? Did I do something? Like, I haven't played I haven't played since yesterday, so I don't know. I found out that the secret to my personal enjoyment of this game... Is this one of those motherfuckers? Like, is he gonna... No. So I guess some of them are fake and some of them are... Oh, hi, what's up? I forgot you were there. Um... Fuck, fuck, fuck! Bad idea. <laughs> I figured out that my secret to enjoying this game is to just only play like an hour or two a day because when I like the, t the videos where I was like getting really frustrated and I was always you know pissing and moaning etc I was always always it was because I had played for like four or five hours that day and like you know when I'm only when I've only played a couple hours I'm not mad you know I'm not mad at everything I'm not hating everything I'm actually kind of enjoying this more or less but anyway yeah so what I want to do here um is kill this fat motherfucker um is get to 50,000 souls I can't remember exactly how many I needed to level up the um these dudes not come back so I remember the two that were down there. These dudes must not come back. This thing was what was... Did I get this on video? That motherfucker was confusing me. Doesn't that look like something that should attack you? But it doesn't. And I can't tell what it is because I can't go down there. That's what happens when you get distracted in Dark Souls. They made scenery, but you're not allowed to pay attention to it. You get attacked. Actually, what am I doing, dude? This will probably kill him so fast. Oh. I mean, it wasn't phenomenal, but it was better than 45. But uh, yeah, I want to get 50,000 souls, and then I want to go upgrade the Pyromancy Glove and hope that it wasn't at 60,000. Oh yeah, right. Oh hey, the one good thing that you'll see real quick, I actually one-shot these dudes now with Great Fireball, because of the upgraded Pyromancy Glove. So I mean, these dudes are crazy easy now due to that. So yeah, okay, so even right now I have enough to go. So I want to go upgrade my Pyromancy Glove. And then before I come back here, I want to, um, what do I want to do? I want to go to the Dark Moon place and see what goes down there. Put on the Dark Moon Seance Ring first. Oops, wrong one. Actually, while I am, wait, that's what I wanted. While I'm here... Oh, that's right, my bad. That's right, that's right. I don't have the strength to wield it. Okay. See, that's... that. Well, actually, I, I get two-handed, but I don't want it two-handed. I want it one-handed. Holy shit. God damn. How much, I, wanna see what, I just want to see what that shit looks like. Damn. I wish I could wield that, dude. That looks badass. That actually looks like a monster hunter. I haven't tried the Great Scythe at all, have I? Oops. Yeah, I haven't tried the Great Scythe at all, so I'm gonna try that out. Son of a bitch, are they all like this then? That sucks, I hate life. I hate life. I really do. Alright, so let's go first to the Daughter of Chaos. Damn, that sucks that they're all like that. So, I mean, the only reason I was going, I was thinking of using this one. Well, that's right, because the Life Hunt Scythe causes bleeding damage to myself. Hopefully this one does not. We'll find out in a moment. So I'm gonna go attack the, uh, those dudes with the rocks. See what happens. Hopefully we'll get to see what a scythe backstab looks like, etc. But somehow I doubt I'm going to end up using this over the Quelox Fury Sword because this is just... Good for you. Because this is just like... I can't believe the main attack of a scythe is that shit. Nobody would ever use a scythe like that. Nobody. It's so frustrating. 
I just wanted this scythe to be good, because I love scythes. I really do. Like, they're my favorite kind of weapon in any game. If they're available, I'll use them. But in this game, it's like, I'm not using it as a scythe. I'm using it like a pickaxe. See if the two-handed attack's the same. Yeah, great. He just stabbed him. Are you serious? He just jabbed forward. He jabbed forward like it was a regular goddamn sword. He's not even hitting him. Like, I'm not even hitting him with half these attacks. Dude, what the fuck? This shit sucks, dude. Well, it's actually not that bad of an attack. Like, it's not slow or anything. It is taking a massive amount of stamina, though. To... Yeah, see, what the fuck? He's stabbing forwards while using a blade that is curved off to the side. Figure that shit out. Damn it, man, that's so, that's so incredibly disappointing. What is this one? Oh, that's right. Holy shit. 50 strength to wield it. Damn it, man. I just, oh, can I wield this? Jesus! All right, let's just see what it looks like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, that was cool. See, this is another weapon I wish I could use. Can I wield it two-handed? No, still can't wield it two-handed. Like, these all look so cool and I want to use them, but... The stat requirements on them are so high. Alright, fuck this. He still hit me with a bunch of sh Oh, he survived, that's why. I can't believe he lived through that. Ah, uh, why do I care about getting poisoned? I don't give a shit. Where are the fucking mosquitoes? Oh, hi, there you are. Right on cue. Wouldn't even die from poison while talking. Ah, there you are. My health still go down? Yep. I think that's it, right? It's fully? Yeah, okay. Hmm. I, my mother. Um, but my... I, I cannot... But you... I read mother's... Okay. Now, go. What's it? Alright, so I guess we're, uh... We're done with pyromancy, then. I've fully upgraded everything there. So the thing I wanted to actually test, we're, I'm actually going to test it on, actually it would be a bad idea to test it on these dudes. I was going to test, test it on these dudes because they're right there and they're easy. But I wanted to figure out, like, if I equipped different weapons. Because the rumor is that this shield, the throw attack, the damage on it is actually based on what you are wielding in your right hand. And so, I wanted to test that, but it actually wouldn't be good against those dudes because I have to deal with the maggots that come out. And fuck that. Will I die before I get to the bonfire? Will I get to the bonfire first? We're gonna play a game of poison chicken. There's no way I'm gonna die first. Unless, of course, I take a wrong turn, but I won't. Because it's right there. If I hadn't run, I might have died. Alright, so let's go to the Dark Moon Tomb. And see what happens down here. I don't believe I should get attacked, but... This is supposed to be like a Covenant area, but who knows. Alright, so first I want to equip... Where is it? This... Oh, it just fades away. Oh, hey, there's somebody. Oh, no. Never mind. You're dead. 
Never mind, there's not somebody. Oh, hmm. So maybe there is? Maybe I am? Halt! This is the tomb of the great Lord Gwyn. Tarnished, it shall not be by the feet of men. If thou art a true disciple of the dark sun, cast aside thine eye. Hear the voice of mine self, Windelin, and kneel before me. O disciple of the dark sun, thou hast journeyed far. Hear my voice, if thou shalt swear by the covenant to become a shadow of Father Gwyn and Sister Gwynevere, a blade that shall hunt the foes of our lords, then I shall protect thee, safeguarding thy person with the power of the dark moon. Hmm. Okay, so you actually get... I'm gonna have to warp back to... What's it called? Okay, so yeah, so you don't have to join them, you just have to find them. So I will, I'm gonna have to warp back to the dragon one and, like, you know, kneel before the dragon dude, because I don't think I got that achievement. But I found the covenant, I just didn't, hmm. See, uh, I mean, the grave, I mean, obviously the grave lord covenant doesn't even exist anymore, I can't do it because I killed Nito. But, oh, why the fuck not? See, now, what this is supposed to do, as far as I am aware... If I... I think I actually have one of those souvenirs of reprisal, don't I? It doesn't matter. If I put this shit on, then at any point in time, I can get... Summoned, right? I get summoned to somebody who's like attacked somebody in their covenant or some shit. As far as I'm aware, so I mean I'm just gonna wear it for now. See, let I me mean, see what happens. Maybe something special will happen. Who knows? But now I'm just gonna warp back to the where I want to go here. Go back to the demon ruins and start that back up. I mean, you know, maybe we'll get some PvP, and that's why that's why I did it because hopefully I can at least get a, like at least a little bit of PvP in before I finish the game. I mean, if not, then I I wouldn't be opposed to like starting a new file to try and like stay online at all times and maybe get invaded and whatnot. Maybe you know, like summon another player for co-op or whatever for a boss, that kind of shit. But, somehow I doubt, I mean, like, there's just, you know, there's just certain areas of this game that, like, the prospect of going through it in New Game Plus where everything's supposed to be, you know, like, exponentially harder, it's just not, doesn't sound like fun to me. Because, I mean, there are certain areas I wouldn't mind going back through at all, but then, you know, going back through Blight Town, going back through, um, Sin's Fortress, in Orlando with those fucking, man, the enemies are harder. Imagine those silver knights that are up on that ledge. Fuck that. There's just, I mean, there's just certain parts of this game that I would avoid and want to avoid entirely. And not have any part of. Oh, I tried to read it, but I wasn't fast enough. It's probably just like, monster ahead! Oh god. Oh shit, that's right, I need to be careful since I'm not- Oh my god. Since I'm not uh, wearing that improved stamina regeneration ring. I'm not gonna get stamina back as fast. I wonder if I'll ever even get summoned. I wonder if I have to use, like, can I actually use this shit? Oh, I can. Use it then? Sure. Alright, I guess maybe we'll get some PvP in. Hopefully I'll start a new video.